You know what? I'll give it one more toss. Oh, hey, we made it in. We made it in. Nothing. Great. All right. Oh. Oh. Hey, ah. Actually, yeah, but theoretically, couldn't I just... Oh. oh. Yep. If there, that might need a sprint. Oh. This section was always a little nerve-wracking. Luckily, Half-Life, it may have forced you to platform, but it didn't do it often enough that it would become an issue. It's just that the engine was such that ladders and stuff could kill you without reason or warning. And nobody liked that. Luckily, since we're on a heavily modified Half-Life 2 Source engine, we no longer have that issue. Well, they still seem relatively soft. Are we still on hard mode? We are still on hard mode. Huh. Guess they softened it up for, uh... Today's bubble-blowing baby players. Ooh, is my battery here? Haha! <laughs> Happy HEV. And some of you thought it wouldn't be a good idea to throw it up here. God, they got jank. I'm almost tempted to load a save after that little disaster. After all, we're going to be seeing more Vortigons soon, and their attacks are still technically hit scan, I think. Oh, I was about to try and crack that open like it was just another crate. Ah, uh, no. Let's just get on the elevator. Get into the office complex. Now, you might have noticed me rapid-tapping on that trigger there. That's not actually me mashing left mouse. That's the alt-fire for the pistol. It's a rapid-fire mode, and it always has been. But this game does have iron sights. Or it's supposed to have iron sights. Who's there? What's my iron sights button? <clears throat> okay. What's it mean, classic iron sights? Or is Iron Sight situational? I... I haven't the foggiest. I think I was thinking of Cry of Fear, you can always just, like, whip out the sights. Hey yeah. We shall go this way. Actually, this probably won't lead to progression, because it's clear that they want us to disable the electricity in order to get through there. So there's probably something special down this end of the vent. Biological reckoning. If the game designers knew what they were doing, and they did. This whole game is a testament to what fans with a, a passion for what they're doing can accomplish. Now oh, we got some ammo. Battery up there. Power 
65%. So yeah, a little ammo cache back here, because we went the the route that was less likely to give us progress, because we are able to intuit what the designers intended, because what the designers intended actually makes sense. Oh. Triple A, what are you doing with your lives? All that obsession over the bottom line, games get crappier and crappier every year. Of course, by the same reckoning, what is the player base uh, doing with something like that? Because, ah. Okay, that couldn't pull me up for some reason. Actually, hang on. Okay, I guess the soda machine doesn't work. If I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Sure you would have. Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. <laughs> right? Thanks, Doc. Power's off. Should we bring him with us? You're heading out there? By yourself? May God have mercy on your soul. Alright, fine. You can just hang out here. Even the music is of an incredible quality, very atmospheric and well put together. And I reiterate, fans did this, or at least they organized and orchestrated it. Oh, really? Where'd you even come from? There we go. Come on, more. I want to be at a hundred. Now, that is something, like, that whole emergency alert broadcast that was put together specifically for this game. And what is genius about that in the execution is that it implies something that we all know. The fact that, like, there's a world outside of Black Mesa, of course, but that helps to flesh it out in an incredible... Was that a head crab in an actual crate? Gonna grab a flare because fire good. Hey! One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. Did you put a bullet in him? That thing off before. Hey! Good news. Help just arrived. 
What? Hey! What the hell? Get off of me! Thanks. I owe you one. You owe me a shotgun. Here, let me get this open. I, uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look-see. See what you can carry. There it is. And of course, they followed the modeling to- Whoa. Oh, I forgot about you. They follow the modeling tendency of the original shotgun where it doesn't have the stock modeled on it, which I think the the idea is that there is no stock equipped on the shotgun. I mean, we're in tight quarters. You wouldn't necessarily need one. Used to be goodies down here too, and it would appear that that is still the case. Give me that battery. Oh. Oh. Homing head crab, really? Take the hint. Save that shotgun, though, for the Vortigons. Whoa! Hey, buddy! Oh, that's a lot of you! This might be the hard difficulty, hiking it up. Since when have you been following me, not Barney? Does it look cooler if I hold my gun like this? Okay, let's go for it. Alright, he's gonna come with. Well, Doc, got any ideas? I do. You stay here. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay, yeah. Tell you what, if you want to check that vent out, I'll just hang out out here. In case it's a dead end. Yeah, or... I think those boys could have made a bigger mess. Yeah, it used to be able to kill the power. Now you just gotta get to the vent. Yeah? Freaking head crabs and vents. It's a Half-Life tradition. An annoying, irritating, my god, why they keep getting free shots in on me tradition. Oh. We all know how much I love batteries. My batteries. All right, Doc. Let's tear some shit up. Okay, I'm just gonna shotgun you. Yeah, I know, it was just casually watching okay, TV, and who's who's the real monsters in this equation, but, um, yeah, I'm a little tired of that thing. So much for wishful thinking. Alright, you scout on up ahead. I'll secure this area. If you can't make it back around, don't sweat it. Just keep going. Here's the battery, give me that. Power. Sixty-five percent. Come on, head crabs. Step right up.
So if we wait long enough, the tart will retract. We can reposition. Now that tart could easily destroy this crate, but as long as it doesn't see me, it won't even try shooting at it. under this elevator. And that's the turret offline. Good. Sir, I'll keep you covered. Okay, we might run into turret number two here soon. Oh, guard number two. Glad to see someone else made it in this mess. I, uh, I heard screams up ahead. Uh, you first. Sure. I'll secure this area. Uh. Are we all set yet? Give him hell, Doc. God, it's just head crabs, guys. They're only dangerous if they latch onto you. Ow. Watch out for these critters, Doc. Well, he's dead. Oh, pardon me, Doc. Let's get this over with. Okay, I think we're running into Vortigaunt country. Which could be a problem, I don't... Oh, shit. Not good. Holy shit! Thing tore them to pieces. I don't think we should stick around. And we don't even know what it was. Gonna clear your path for you? Let's go. Oh yeah, Vortigaunt country. Um seen anything like this. I'd like the two of you to survive. Alright, I'll stay here. I'll secure this area. So you two stay here for a second. Gotta remember, they got a close range AoE attack now that I gotta not get hit with. They couldn't do that before. That's my point with like the difference between a remake and a remaster. A remake is basically a, re a rebuild of the game from the ground up with newer elements added into older ones. A remaster is let's just like apply a fresh coat of paint and call it a day. Oh, uh, we're getting close to that happy HEV suit again. Okay, the double shot is working for 
Oh, that's ammo that I don't actually need. The double shot is working for taking down the Vortigons. I really should try single shot. Uh, see if that's effective, because if it is, I can stop wasting twice the ammo. Nope. Double shot it is, then! That works better, clearly. Oh. Hi there. That's taken care of in a single shotgun blast. Okay, let's get the guards over here, because we're about to bust out some scientists and play big hero guy, so we could probably use the extra firepower. I'm ready. Let's All right, let's move. I, lose my nerve. I don't know if that's the guy who voices Barney. I don't think so. But it's a decent impression of him in the least, even though, strictly speaking... None of these guys are Barney. That's sort of the point, or implied. Stay back. Take her. It's not my time. Don't worry. He's human. Yeah. If you're trying to coward. Escape, I'm coming with you. I'm not so sure we should go to the surface. What if the world finds out what we're doing down here? Suit yourself, Clifford. All right. Which way out of here? Well, that way, if you want to get out of my way. What is that smell? I have no interest in following you to your death. Sure, you can, uh, stay here. So, we've got a three fur following us now. Cool, cool. That just raises the question of where to. Seems right. Vorts. So I think Vorts. Oh yeah, Vorts. My shottiest of shotguns is running a little low on shells. Okay, okay, guys, guys, chill out. There is a barnacle right there. I don't still think this is a drill, do you? Can I pick up the garbage container? Why can't I? I picked up the one in the other room. I just overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived. They're coming to rescue us. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. Are you coming with? I'll stay here. You know where to find me. Actually, all of you... You know where to find me. ...should probably stay here, because I think we're about to run into our other turret. I'll, I'll stay back here. Give it a look, see. Yeet. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, just wait till it loses aggro. Done it. Here. Catch. God sakes. The grenades don't quite go where you throw them. They have like an upward arc. I'm not I'm not happy with that. Because it, ma it makes aiming them less predictable. So we have two researchers and two security guards. 
Lead I the can't way, sir. see how this could possibly get worse. I got your back. You go on ahead. I'll Lead catch the way, up. Freeman. And come on, everybody, single file. What about you? This is as far as I go. You know where to find me. My so bad, he, Doc. So he's just not coming. All right, sure. I mean, in the middle of a disaster zone, some might argue that there's some logic to staying where you are. And it's like, yeah, but that's only if where you are is safe. There are aliens everywhere, zombified humans. I mean, what about this screams of safety and security? If, the, if you're thinking nothing, then yes, of course nothing. This is extremely dangerous. Reason with it. Sure. You want to volunteer? Okay, that didn't clear them out quite as well as I was hoping. Yeah, because it disintegrated, because the shotgun does that now, because the enemies can do that now. Out of shotgun ammo, effectively. I don't want to, like, run my last mag out. Plenty of pistol ammo. I trust there's a reason for all this dilly-dallying. I'm sorry to... Hey, what are you still doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Sorry, Doc. The whole team getting put together over here. Oh, he was next to an explosive. That could have been a lot cleaner. Sorry. Now I need battery. My suit is low on ba- hello. Where do you lead? You ever seen anything like this? You bet. Did we come in that way? No, we didn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna go in the vent. I don't know what all of you are going to do. I'm sure there's something useful in here. Can't get any worse than this. Go fan off. Guess we could jump that. We can. Head crabs, good start. Yeah, that's gonna drop us down, which means that that might be a point of no return on that end. Hello. Ah! So you're allowed in here to sort of tease the fact that there are some batteries up here, if you even notice. Power 35%. Power 50%. You know, that's the funny part, I literally just said that I need batteries, and then I find a cache of batteries. Like, the developers know exactly where and when you're gonna need stuff, and they provide because they understand how the game is played. They probably playtested this during development, which is something the major development studios don't even do anymore. That's what QA is for, if they even bother with quality assurance and don't just ship it out as a raw, raw, raw beta and expect the players to basically do QA on the cheap or, moreover, to pay to do QA, because often those betas require, you know, you to actually pre-order the game and whatnot. So oh, we doc. made it into an ammo cache, and now we're back here. Let's 
see how you like it. Ow! Well, well done, ladies and gentlemen. Primarily gentlemen, sorry miss, but you're just not even armed. I'm a scientist, you see me carrying a gun. Do you not realize that this is the sort of situation in which one might want to be armed? Grab a crowbar, be make yourself useful somehow. 